All right, so now we got our slider working and we're able to see the timer visually and we've got our basic store up and running. Now is the perfect time to look at how we can refactor this to make it easier to work with multiple stores. So this is somewhat of an exciting lecture because it's really going to take you from like maybe the very beginning stages of learning how um, these games are putting together and start to get more into composition so you can learn how to refactor and to better design your games. So if we look at our store script, one of the things that you're going to notice right away is that if we're going to have multiple stores, and um, for example, if I come down here our store panel and duplicate this store panel, and I can drag it down, that we can pretty easily create another instance of a store and uh, name this store, for example, if we wanted to name this store pet store, that, that that's perfectly acceptable. And the game itself, if we run it here, you'll notice that already just out of the gate, we get like two separate timers. So you can see that we're, we're already just with this basic design, able to have multiple stores, but we have an inherent flaw in the way we've built the game uh, up to this point. And it was intentional on my part to, to get it started easily for you so you'd have a game up and running, but to then give us an opportunity here at this point to take, take our business tycoon and our, our game development here towards a, a, a more appropriate design. And by that, I mean that we really need a game manager because when we create multiple stores based on this script we currently have, we have an element in this that is not shared, and that's this current balance. This current balance needs to be across all the stores, not just for a specific store, but for multiple uh, stores all together. And so what basically I'm getting to is we need a game manager. And so in this, we're going to, uh, in this lecture, we're going to take a kind of a big leap towards moving from just having this one script that is for a store, but instead upgrading it so we have a game manager that will allow us to move towards multiple stores. And um, I've intentionally kind of made this so that there is a bit a bit of a step here because you're going to find yourself in development situations a lot of times where you've built up to a point and then you realize ah, i'd be better designed this other way and you need to get comfortable with moving things that don't belong within one object and moving them out move them, moving them into other objects or other classes and in this case it's the current balance this current balance is shared as you can see visually we're going to have multiple stores, and we right now just have two as an example, but we could have, you know, six or eight stores here or more, but we've only got one balance. There's only one running balance for the entire game. And um, there, there are other uh, approaches or where we could actually really could keep this current balance as a static member of, of the stores, but... Without getting too complex, we know we for sure want a game manager and that a game manager would be the most appropriate place to keep the collection for the, for the, for the money for, for the entire game. So let's go ahead and add a script here for our game manager. And we'll just, since we kept that lowercase, we'll keep this lowercase. We'll call this game manager and open it up. And we know that for sure our game manager is going to keep the current balance. So I'm going to just copy and paste this into our game manager. So this is the refactoring. We're taking what we know is going to be something that's for the whole game, which is the balance, and we're moving it out of this, out of this store. And so let's just go ahead and get rid of it there as well. And then we also know that we want to get rid of this current balance text. So we're going to cut it 
I just use Control X to cut and Control V to paste. We know that we want that in our game manager here. Now, why is this text uh, red and squiggly? Well, if you think back to the previous lectures and you want to pause the video and figure it out, go ahead. But I'll show you real quick. And it's just because we don't have our UI tied into our game manager yet. So we have, basically, this is, is the text uh, for the, the current balance, this piece right up here. That's the main piece that we're missing, um, or I should say is out of place inside of our stores. And we're, we're taking this opportunity to now refactor this so that we can expand our application. So we've, we've removed them out of here, and you'll notice, look at all the red that we've got in here. And then that's the purpose of this lecture, is to somewhat quickly address this. And so this is an ambitious lecture because it's throwing a lot at a beginner, but it also is that leap towards redesign. Because you're going to quickly find these kinds of things where, you, where it's very appropriate to break your code. It's very appropriate to take it and move pieces into another object. In this case, it's very appropriate to move our current balance into a game manager and start building up a game manager that manages the game state and how the game is running, whether the game is paused, whether or not, um, you know, in, in later on, we're going to be showing like a manager panel uh, where you can upgrade your stores to have managers or upgrade uh, you know certain things and as you make more complex games you're going to want to be able to manage the states of your games and that's what a game manager is for in this case our game manager also needs to keep track of the current balance so we're moving that here and likewise that may it seems to make sense we can also move these items the current balance for example here and we can move the updating of that text to here as well. So we can move our code over by just copying and pasting a lot of it. Okay, so we've moved this over and there's some things that we're going to run across that aren't going to be so easy to move over. Like for example, where we're going to be updating the current balance here, for example, we need this uh, current balance is now not going to be in the store but instead it's going to be in the game manager. So we need to address that. And, and how do we address that? Well, what we want to do is we want to manage this current balance. And we do that by creating a method to add to the balance inside of our game manager. So our store is going to basically say, oh, we've got some money that is, has been made, or we've spent money to buy a new store. So let's update that balance. So we're going to say public because we want to access it outside of here of the game manager itself. And we're going to say public void because we don't have to return anything back. And then we're going to say add to balance. So this creates our our method to add to the balance and we're going to we're going to have a float and an amount. So this right here is new and what we've been doing is we're basically providing a parameter to this method, add to balance, that says we need to know the amount we want to add to the balance. So we come down here. All of our red's gone away because this is a perfectly valid syntax to create our method. We're saying we, we have a method called add to balance. We're, getting, we're going to get an amount. And we just need to say current balance plus equals amount. And that's going to add it whatever we send here to our current balance. And now is where we want to update also our text as well. And we'll save that. So this is really the method that we need right here to interface with our store. We're going to be either, you know, either taking money away or we're going to be adding money to it. We don't need two methods though because we can just pass a negative amount. So jumping back over to our store, um, we're going to get rid of these references to current balance text because we don't want them in our store. Our store wants nothing to do with the current balance. It really doesn't care except for when we come down here to buy 
a, a store. And so we'll 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 address this the fact that we'll, we'll have to check in um, the balance here. But um, what we can we can do is we can get rid of here any references to the text because we're going to let the game manager take care of that, and we don't need to debug. But what we are left with is the times we're updating those balances. We're updating the current balance here, and we're updating the current balance here, and we don't have anything down here. But and we have to reference it here. So we we have a we need this interface, and that's really the meat of this lecture is showing you how we're going to interface th this game manager. So we come here to our store, and in our store, we're going to want to just go ahead for simplicity now to build, and there's a lot of different ways to reference this game manager. This is not the only way, but for now we're going to reference it this way by coming here and saying public, and we can go right here and say game manager. And it, and it finds the game manager. We've created that class. And now we just need a, a, a reference here. We'll, we'll, we'll say uh, game manager. And we're, we're, we're just capitalizing it here so it's different than this one. So we'll know we're referring to the one in, inside the store here. And this is, gonna, this is the one we're referencing that is going to directly tie to here. So now what this means is we can come down here with this game manager and directly call this add to balance. And I'm not sure why we didn't get that here. Add to balance. Okay. And what do we want to pass along? Well, we want to pass along what was in here. So I'm just going to copy this and paste it so you can see what we're doing is rather than updating the current balance inside of the store, we're telling the game manager we want to add to the balance in the game manager and we're sending along the change here. So we can get rid of this now. And instead we're letting the game manager manage the balance, but the store is still sending and doing the calculation. So this is about decoupling the management of the balance, we still have some, you know, we're still letting the game manager do its piece here, and we're letting the store do its piece, because we might have more complexity here, we might have upgrades, we might have all kinds of other things inside the store that are going to go into this calculation, but we're going to let the game manager take care of actually adding that to the balance. And now we want to do the same thing down here, we come down here, and we're going to, instead of this being current balance equals current balance, I'm going to just paste in that and change and put the parentheses there. So we're going to pass along the negative base store cost so it'll take away here from the balance. Okay? And what we can do here, and, I'll, and I'm um, just going to do this for simplicity's sake, is we'll just comment this out for now. We're not going to worry about checking the balance. We're just going to test out hooking in the game manager, adding to the balance, and make sure all this works, and make sure that this all works, that we've got this taken care of. Now, one of the things, you know, this is where it's going to update the text. As soon as we have the balance change here, it's going to update the current balance text to what we set it. But remember, we're going to have to set this up inside of Unity. We've set a few things up in here in our scripts. This right here, the text, and then this right here, as far as the game manager, that we have to address inside of Unity. So I'm going to save that, all that, click back on Unity, and we'll let it compile everything. And it, a lot of times if you've made mistakes, you'll see the errors right here. Um, it'll come up red. This is just saying there's some uh, line endings that are incorrect. So that this doesn't matter for us right now because this is just a warning. Let's go ahead and get rid of our extra store and click back on our store panel for this one that we have. Notice how the game manager is open. It's because we have, we've created this game manager object that we need to tie in here. Now, we can't just drag and drop this in here. That might be an instinct, oh, I'll just drag my game manager. You can't do that. We need to create in Unity a place to hold it. So I come up here to game object and I say create empty. 
and we'll call this game manager object. Just name it a little different because we got a lot of things named game manager. And I can then now come here and drag and drop it into here. So we have our game manager. And you'll also notice that we need for our game manager to reference our current balance text. So we're going to drag this in here. So this ties the text that we're going to be updating since we have moved that over to our game manager right here. And it's going to take care of updating our balance and keeping everything accurate. We've stripped it out of the store. There's nothing in the store that references current game balance. It's all gone. There's nothing that the store rep right now references that. So if this is tied up properly and the store panel now needs its game manager object, we need to drag that in here. And notice how now it, it ties it in just fine because of game the game manager is one of is one of the available objects that are inside of inside of the inside of here because I I dragged and dropped it here. Watch it again if if it's confusing so that you can wire this all together because it has to be wired together right. So now let's run everything. Notice we have six dollars. Um, if we buy, we're going down. So everything's working just like it should. If we click, then it gets to the end. It should go up, just like it does. And we're getting three times fifty cents, or a dollar fifty each time. The only thing we don't have working is we can buy as many stores as we want and go into the negative because we're not checking that balance. And I just wanted you to see that we commented it out on purpose because we wanted to make sure we got the game manager wired in right. So that's plenty for this lecture it's you know one of our longest lectures so far so it's plenty for us to digest in this in this in this uh specific lecture but let's let's recap what we did is we went through our store and we ripped out all references to anything that wasn't store specific in this case it was really simple it was just really the current balance for all of the stores and we pulled that out of our store and we moved it into this game manager to to keep everything updated. And inside of our store now, we reference our game manager, and it, we can reference anything in it we want. But we've we've changed it so that the game manager is taking care of how things get added to the balance. And there's a lot of different designs. We're going to keep uh, improving these designs, and you're going to see other even better ways to decouple these things but this is a, a was a big step if you're a beginner to see how, how to wire things together so this might be uh, um, one of those lectures you watch more than once and practice uh, yourself doing this taking and making something where you have you know some dependencies that, that don't belong and then refactoring them out in this case you know we refactored our current game uh, balance out and we created this public method as an interface so that we can just pass along an amount and the game manager takes care of the balance and the store is taking care of what it's supposed to take care of which is the calculation and all it does is add to the balance now in the next lecture we'll see how we can make sure that we um, don't buy more stores than we should and, and we can interact in the game manager in a different way